Hey everyone, it's Karen here from Gold Bio, and I'm talking about the differences between carbenicillin and ampicillin. So if you were wanting to know what those differences are or trying to figure out which one is going to be best for your project, just stay tuned. Ampicillin and carbenicillin are very similar, which can make this a little bit challenging. Both are broad-spectrum antibiotics, and both belong to the beta-lactam class of antibiotics. They both have very similar structures, although with some very important differences. So with all the similarities in mind, how do you choose? Well, let's first talk about ampicillin. Ampicillin is popularly used, and it's very affordable compared to carbenicillin. It's also less sensitive compared to carbenicillin. Some of the drawbacks to ampicillin is that it can lead to satellite colonies, which we do have some resources, and I'll put it in the link below on how to troubleshoot uh, satellite colonies. Carbenicillin, on the other hand, is a lot more stable compared to ampicillin. It's tolerant to heat and acidity. It's ideal for large-scale culturing, and it doesn't lead to satellite colonies quite the way that ampicillin will. So now that you know more of the differences between ampicillin and carbenicillin, the question is, which one do you choose? So you should choose ampicillin if price is definitely a factor. You should choose carbenicillin if you need something extremely stable or tolerant, or if you're doing that large scale culturing or you don't want satellite colonies. If you found this video helpful, definitely give it a like and subscribe. Also, just check out goldbio.com for some of our reagents and helpful resources. Thanks for watching.